On the last episode of Kink Police Sneeze Fetishes, these two morons decided to unpack the history of various kinks and fetishes to see where sneeze fetishes would land on the spectrum. After providing a bit of setup for this topic, they decided to venture deeper down into this rabbit hole. And as everyone knows, the best rabbit holes can be found on the internet. So welcome to episode 2 of Kink Police Sneeze Fetishes as we email a sneeze porn star and stumble deep into the sneeze fetish forum. Welcome to Kink Police. So during my endless search for videos of girls sneezing into the camera that I could use in that intro that you just watched, I stumbled upon Jasmine J, who is a very niche porn star, but more importantly than that, she is an entrepreneur. She is taking this porn thing to the next level. You know, she is a businesswoman at heart. Let me introduce you to Jasmine J. Well, I hope you enjoyed my sneezes. I didn't. If you're wondering, do I have more sneezing videos? I do. You can check out my YouTube channel. I did try to find her YouTube channel because I felt like that would have been amazing content. But I think YouTube took it down for, you know, porn star being on YouTube reasons. You can go to my very nice clip store that has tons of sneezing videos. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can always email me and purchase a custom main video. Now I was feeling lucky, so I decided to send this girl an email, uh, not to purchase a custom made video, <coughs> um, but to get a bit more research, to get into the mind of someone who actually does this stuff for a living. Now I had never really thought about getting into contact with a porn star before, not necessarily because I didn't want to, because I've of course I've wanted to contact porn stars in the past before, but I just didn't have the means, like no porn star had ever just, you know, provided her email address in a public video. Email me at thejasminej at gmail.com. Also, I guess it's like Jasmine J isn't really a porn star per se, she's like a porn dwarf star maybe. Like, like let's say that Mia Khalifa is like a, a porn system, like a solar system, a porn galactic enterprise. Jasmine might more be on the side of like a porn moon or something. But still, it's, it's, it's great that I'm able to contact her at all, which is the point I'm trying to get at here. But I did want to contact her because I feel like if this video series is going to be fair, it should be told from three perspectives. Me, the person who knows like absolutely nothing about sneeze fetishes, a person who actually is into sneeze fetishes, which might be a bit more difficult to find, but then third, a person who performs sneeze fetishes who was surprisingly very easy to find. After trying to spend a considerable amount of time uh, making sure that I would not come across as a creep and instead as, you know, just a professional, this is what I sent her. I recently discovered the existence of sneeze porn and out of morbid curiosity, I decided to check it out. I'm decisively not into it. However, I did want to make a video on the subject and why people are into it. And I was wondering if you'd be able to provide some insight into how you became a sneeze porn star and how you feel about people being turned on by sneezes. So really, I wasn't expecting a reply back, like at all. Let alone a reply in 47 minutes. A 47 minute response with an email is like instantaneous. So in an artistic renditioning of what might have transpired, here's what Jasmine had to say. I had no idea it existed until I received a custom video request from a client asking for sneezing and nose blowing. Like all of my custom videos, I loaded it onto my store. The link is in the description below. Interestingly enough, it sold a couple of downloads. Everyone seems to be into different aspects of the fetish, whether it's nose blowing, the actual sneeze, or the snot. Not too sure about the psyche part of it though. So this is what I meant when I said that Jasmine is a niche porn star. Yeah, because she's not as popular of a porn star as most other porn stars are, she has to branch out into different aspects of porn. So Jasmine will cater to like hairy arm fetishes, which is a thing, uh, scary face fetishes, 
which is a thing. Uh, giantess fetishes, which is a thing. Foot fetishes, which we've all known has been a thing. And then sneeze fetishes, which is what we're here to talk about. So for Jasmine, these sneeze videos that she made were more popular than she expected. Which leads you to ask, okay, how popular are sneeze fetishes? Well, the answer is they're so unpopular that it's very difficult to find any sort of information on them at all. Whereas something like a foot fetish and the furry fandom might seem uncommon, they're still common enough for people to at least have a very general idea that they exist. To put this all into context, foot fetishism has its own Wikipedia page. I've also apparently visited this page five times, <laughs> which is, I hate that Google has that information on me. And it yields 12 million results on Google in half a second. Whereas sneeze fetishism does not yet have any Wikipedia page and is instead listed under the subsect of paraphilia, which is just general sexual perversion or deviancy. And as opposed to foot fetishism's whopping 12 million results, sneeze fetishism only yields 314,000, which in the land of the internet is not a lot. And even the supposed expert herself, Jasmine, didn't really have much to contribute. But nevertheless, I decided to reply anyway because like fuck, I'm emailing a porn star now, so why not? Thanks for getting back to me. I actually wasn't expecting a reply so soon. Your information and experience is super helpful. Keep doing what you're doing. I respect the hustle. And I really honestly do. Like. Damn. And in half an hour, Jasmine had her response. I actually had an in-person sneezing session for a client a month ago. He wasn't too helpful with answering any why questions. Not sure he knows why either. Let me know if you happen to come across any forums or chats I could potentially advertise my sneeze clips at. Well, it's funny that you mentioned the uh, forums, Jasmine, because hey, guess what? The sneeze fetish forum is a thing that exists. Woo! Welcome to the Sneeze Fetish Forum. Now, I did promise that we were going to dive deep into this place, but like, this is an entire website we're talking about, so today I'll just cover the basics. Now, I think when I first heard of this site, I discovered it on Reddit, because Reddit just sort of is a conglomerate of all human knowledge on Earth. What I quickly picked up on is the fact that the Sneeze Fetish Forum is essentially a community, a community for people who feel bad about the fact that they're attracted to sneezes. Or not necessarily bad, it's just no one else really understands that, they don't feel like they can share it with people in their lives. So they find a place online that they can actually feel accepted in. On the bottom of that site's homepage are a list of the birthdays for that day. And as you can see with the graph I made, most sneeze fetish traffic is highest with 20 to 30 year olds and then sort of tapers off with teens and 40 plus year olds. And at first I thought that meant something, but all it really means is that teens just probably aren't in touch with themselves enough yet to know that sneeze fetish is a thing and that that's what they're into. While older people might have been uh, more comfortable with their sneeze fetish, but just don't know enough about the internet to know that a forum exists. So really, sneeze fetishes aren't really age specific, it's more just whoever was able to find this community has a combination of the knowledge of the fact that sneeze fetishes exist, the fact that they have it, and the fact that there is a forum out there. So the current day's birthday is one of the many features that is actually available for most guests on the website. I think the idea is that they wanted people who had just stumbled upon the website and actually do have sneeze fetishes and were maybe feeling bad about themselves or felt lonely or alienated. I think they wanted those newcomers to at least get a sense of what the forum was like. But they also do have restricted access to a number of other pages and forums to people like me who just aren't into sneeze fetishes or trolls who would probably want to like find everyone's information. So in order to access those blocked forums and pages, I made an account. And we will cover more of what I found in the next video. So join me some other time for the next episode, episode three of Kink Please Sneeze Fetishes, where I will do an actual deep dive into the sneeze fetish forum. Or depending on what gets done first, I might be doing an interview with people on the streets because hey, I can't be judge, jury, and executioner. Someone has to be the jury to find out if sneeze fetishes are guilty, even though I've sort of decided that they're not, but we'll get into that later.